Hello and welcome back to part 2 in this tutorial, where I'm gonna show you how to make a simple music video using After Effects and 3D elements. In the first part we synced up the audio, we keyed out the green screen. Now we have the five guys here, the band is called Binary Creed, links are in the description. Like I said in the first part, if you want to save rendering time, export these compositions with alpha channels and then import them again into the project. By doing so you decrease the rendering time. Okay, now we're gonna create the band scene. We're gonna put all the members into one scene. So we create a new composition. We name this composition band. And then we're gonna select all the members here and import it to the composition. Let's change the resolution to quarter. Now we can mute all the layers. And as you can see, the length of every band member's footage is exactly the same. Uh, it's because we synced up the audio in the first part. And this is really important because now every layer is synced up to the track. So we can drag the track into this composition next step is to make these guys in the same scale. So we're going to start off with the base. We're going to hide the other layers, select the base, and we're going to scale him down about here. Put him to the left here. Let's continue with the drums. We're going to scale this guy down. Okay, we put the drums there. We're going to show the guitar guy and scale him down. We're gonna continue with the keyboard. I'm gonna drag him here. Scale him down like this. And uh, the singer. Now I remember that the singer was a bit taller than the other guy, so we're gonna make him like this. Now the guys have the same scale. So now we're going to make these guys 3D layers. We're going to select all the layers and just press this cube here. We're going to change the anchor point for every layer. So we're going to press A for anchor point. We have to move the anchor point where the floor begins, where the guys are standing. And we're going to start with the base. Looks good. So the drums, we have to them up here. The anchor points are now in place. Now we have to line up these guys. So we're gonna select all the layers. We're gonna press P for position. And we're gonna copy the Y value uh, from the base and paste it to the other guys. Like this. The guys are now aligned. So we're going to create a new camera, create camera, and uh, press OK. Now we have to spread out the band. So we change the view to top view and uh, select the base uh, and put him maybe here. The drums are way back here in the middle maybe. The guitar guy should be, we can place him all on the right side here. Let's take the bass further back like this. And the keyboard guy, we can place him right over here. And the singer in the front, of course, because he's the most important person in the band. Now we change back to the active camera view and uh, we move around the camera and we see that these guys are in 3D. Uh, they kind of look like cardboards right now, so we have to be a little bit careful when we create the camera movements later on. Now we have to create some shadows. So we select all the band members and we duplicate the layers. We put them right underneath all the layers here and press R for rotation and then we're gonna rotate on the x-axis 
90 degrees like this we can make the shadows a little bit longer like this and we go to effects and presets and type fill double click it and make them black press ok change the opacity to 50 maybe go back to effects and presets and we're gonna add some fast box blur double click it and set the value to 15 maybe or 16 yeah so now we have set up the band scene the band members are in place the shadows are there now we have to put the band in an environment. I'm going to use the Metropolitan Pack from Video Copilot together with 3D Elements. Now of course you can make your own 3D models, you can download them for free or buy them. I'm going to use Metropolitan Pack just for the sake of this tutorial. Now I'm going to fast forward this part. If you're new to 3D Elements, I have a great playlist with a lot of tutorials. Links are in the description. So I have chosen a skyscraper and a helicopter pad where the band are going to play. Uh, so the next step is to make the band stand on the helicopter pad. To do so we have to create a 3D position. Uh, so we're going to go to 3D element. We're going to go down to utilities. And then click the cross here and select the helicopter pad. And then press generate. So this creates a 3D null. Now we're gonna select all the members except the singer and then we're gonna parrot them to the singer. So now when the members are parent to the singer we're gonna press P for position of the singer and then P for the 3D null. We're gonna copy the position from the 3D null to the singer. Bam. The scale is a little bit off so we're gonna press S for scale and then we're gonna scale down the band all right let's try let's try a four this is this looks a little bit better and now it's time to create the background i usually don't use hri because it's really hard to find a perfect hri that fits the scene for this kind of videos i usually use a image as background but you have to make sure that it's a really large picture I'm going to import a picture with clouds that fits the scene. I'm making it a 3D layer and I'm going to push it way back. Bring it up a bit like this and we're going to drag it underneath everything. I'm going to scale it up. Scale it up big time. Like this, we're gonna we're gonna scale it in this direction. I'm gonna push it up a bit. Now we have to color correct the band members so they fit the scene. So we're gonna start with this guy. We're gonna put lumetric color, and then go to basic correction. Temperature should be a bit lower because he's kind of reddish right now we're gonna we're gonna take this color correction we're gonna copy it and paste it to the other guys so they have the same color correction all right the band is color corrected we're gonna add some depth of field we're gonna choose the singer and we're gonna right click go to camera and link focus distance to layer and the focal point will always be on the singer when we move the camera. So now we're gonna enable the depth of field. Maybe it's a little too much. Let's change it to 50 maybe. So now we can add some camera movements. You can add some color grading. You can add particles. You can do whatever you like. I am just wanted to show you guys how I make my band scenes in this kind of music videos. If you like this tutorial, please leave a like. If you want to see more tutorials like this, please subscribe to the channel. Bye bye.